I recently got a chance to interview Landon O'Connell, a 2024 quarterback prospect from Pickerington North following his visit to Ohio State. The Ohio State coaching staff has been monitoring O'Connell after an impressive sophomore season in 2021. O'Connell visited Columbus on March 24th and participated in the Ohio Elite 11 camp last weekend. The recent visit at Ohio State was amazing. It's just really good being able to visit your hometown school and build those connections with the coaches, O'Connell told me. What really helps them get to the next level is the elite coaches they've had at Ohio State and the quarterback friendly system here. O'Connell is a third-ranked junior quarterback from Ohio and has received interest from Cincinnati, Kentucky, Ohio State, Penn State, Pittsburgh, and Toledo, in addition to earning a scholarship offer from Bowling Green, as his recruiting continues to ramp up. The 6'4 in-state prospect has a lot of potential because of his proficient arm talent, pocket presence, and vision, but his height and size are why a lot of programs are intrigued. O'Connell stands at 6'4 and 208 pounds prior to his second season starting at Pickerington North. Throws over the middle are very easy for me because of my size so I don't struggle seeing over the line. Being big helps a lot too because of the constant hits you take as a quarterback. It's always good to be able to take those hits and bounce back up, O'Connell said. My strengths are having a strong arm, accuracy, and being able to make quick decisions. He threw for 1,141 yards, 10.6 yards per pass, and 5 touchdowns while completing 59.3% of his throws a year ago. O'Connell took a noticeable step as a sophomore and is expected to continue rising alongside other Elite 11 Ohio camp invitees, including Dante Moore and others. Jacob Oden, 2024 four-star prospect, has created some buzz on the recruiting trail with a pair of visits to Ohio State and Notre Dame last weekend. The 6'1 safety has picked up 24 scholarship offers, including several Big Ten schools, and the Buckeyes are expected to extend an offer in the near future. The rising defensive back has high expectations for his junior year at Harper Woods High School after flashing excellent speed, stability, and an ability to adjust to the ball in the air. The four-star safety is the fourth highest rated player in Michigan per 247 sports. Odin recently talked to me about his trip to Columbus. I think Ohio State is one of the best programs in the country. They have a good coaching staff and I can't wait to get back down. I might be back down for a game next year. I think they've been successful because they've had great coaches with experience and that are smart. Odin earned a ton of offers the last couple months from Arkansas, Cincinnati, Michigan, Michigan State, Oklahoma, Ole Miss, and others. He plans to make a commitment in 2023 and possibly prior to his senior season. Lastly, I talked to senior wide receiver Kai Sanders after he committed to Ohio State last week. The younger brother of Buckeyes running back Caden Sanders committed to Ohio State as a preferred walk-on a week ago via Twitter. The 6'4 wide receiver and tight end prospect got a chance to visit campus in late March before making the decision to follow in the footsteps of his older brother and their father Cedric Sanders who played at Ohio State from 1990 to 1993 and earned all Big Ten honors as a senior in 1993. There was a lot that went into my decision to commit to Ohio State. I received preferred walk-on opportunities from Ohio State and Cincinnati, so I was able to narrow it down to those two schools. He announced the commitment on Thursday, April 7th. My trips down to Ohio State last year helped influence my decision this year, Saunders explained following his commitment. I always talked with Caden about the recruiting process, and knowing that I would be at the same school as him helped play a role in my decision. Prior to this past season, Sanders participated in a camp at Ohio State and got a taste of what it would be like to play for the Buckeyes. He went on to total 36 receptions for 477 yards and 7 touchdowns. After a successful senior season at Northville High School, Sanders will join a familiar program with a chance to leave an imprint alongside his brother. As an incoming freshman, my goal is to learn as much as I can from the more experienced players. The more I learn from them, the better it will set me up for the following year, Sanders said. I'm also attending the Buckeyes spring game on Saturday at noon, so keep an eye out for post-game takeaways and highlights following the scrimmage. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and follow on Twitter at Chaz underscore post 23 
You can find all of my content in the description. Thanks for watching.